Hi, Casper here on the 5th of October 2017. Tasting a real interesting thing here. This is a wine we offered a good many years ago. And I suddenly looked on our stock sheet the other day and I found we still had, um, gosh, four or five bottles uh, left. And I thought, why shouldn't I drink these myself? Um, under duress, possibly to share with friends. But um, 2007 Grüner Feldliner Leubenberg Smaragd from Emmerich Knoll, uh, a wine, Austrian wine producer I like a lot, I must say, Knoll, K-N-O-L-L, -L -L. Um, buy them if you find them, enjoy them while you can. Um, Grüner Feldliner, the, the white grape of, of Austria really, but so let's taste. So this is now ten, a good 10 years old. You can probably see that. I don't know what that looks like to you. To me, that looks deep, but healthy. It's a sort of looks like a green, sort of quite deep kind of pond water, greeny gold pond water. Um, very healthy looking, um, but uh, clearly mature from the depth of colour. But let's let's have a go. Gosh, and it's it's. It's such an extraordinary nose. Uh, I mean, it and actually coming to it blind, not knowing what it was, and just smelling it, one would be led to believe that one was about to drink a, a, a sweet wine. I suspect. Got massive, rich, slightly exotic notes. Use a bit of mango to sort of pear and slightly spicy fruit. It's it's verging on sort of marmalade compote sort of. Um, concentration of aromas um, but it has lighter notes as well sort of floral, very summery orchard very very ripe, slightly flowery apples and, God, I mean it's so hard to describe a, a, a wine of this age that's got into a sort of bit of a tertiary phase um, there's just a lot going on in there, it really is so a bit of egg custard of almost about, about it and this lovely sort of fresh, rather exotic citrus sort of character to it. Fascinating, let's taste. Mm. Oh, gee, I mean, that is just quite extraordinary. I mean, dry but rich and very just fascinating ginger it's slightly exotic fruits both sort of stone fruit perhaps mango apricot but also orchard fruits apple and 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 pear and just lots of spice as well i mean it's, it's It's got big presence, you know, it's a rich a wine and, and you know, I'd almost say if you if you are, are, are eating food that demands a, a, a red wine, but you don't want to drink red wine, you want to drink white wine, this, gosh, try, I mean, try it with roast beef even, I mean, it's, it's um, would be a really interesting, and che a really quite punchy, strong cheese, um, sort of, uh, you know, a very ripe brie or something might be absolutely fascinating. Um, just so much going on, I could really probably rabbit about it for, for ten, 10 minutes more. Um, what a quick, quick word, <laughs> word about the label, uh, which is sort of like a cross between um, something Masonic and uh, something J.R.R. Tolkien. I, I hope you can see that. Anyway, it's, uh, you've got to admire a man who presses on with the most atavistic of tickets on the front of his bottle, but there we are, that's been 2007 uh, Grüner Feldliner Leubenberg Smaragd uh, from Emmerich Knoll, and goodness me, what a wine. In fact, I should just also tell you that I had um, email from a client in Singapore a little while ago who said he poured this with some, some big, big flavoured Chinese food and it had gone supremely well. So, um, gosh, if you got some, you're very lucky. Um, uh, and I feel lucky just having it in my glass, I must say, great stuff.